So here's what you need to do. Um, type in caret, C-A-R-E-T, and you can just enter. And the top result here, caret dash Google Chrome, this is the extension that you'll need to install. So I just say add to Chrome. It takes like no time at all. And now we have that program. So anytime you want to use this program, um, just open up a new tab and click apps and it should be here. So click that. Now I have a text editor. And if I start typing stuff right now, it's just plain text. So let's change that. If you click down here, you can select what type of a file you're creating. We're creating an HTML file, so click HTML. And the cool thing about this is it does syntax highlighting and auto formatting for this HTML syntax. So if I type HTML, it auto completed the closing tag for the HTML that I had just created. So you can press enter, and now it auto formats, it auto indents in between those HTML tags. So this is a really nice program. I actually didn't even know it existed until today because I was trying to find a solution for everybody, uh, no matter what operating system you're on. Um, this should work as long as you have Chrome, the browser, installed. Okay, so let's test this out. We can put a script tag in here. Let's try a little bit of JavaScript. It says hi there. And then we can even put some HTML text that says this will display in the browser. Okay. And to save it and run it, let's just click File, and Save File. So I'm just going to do it in the downloads folder. And let's save this as test.html. It doesn't really matter. Um, the part that does matter is the .html. So I save. And now to run it, I can either search for it inside uh, the downloads folder of my file system. And I can right click and say open with Google Chrome. Or I can just go to the browser in a new tab, I can do Control C. Oh, sorry, I can do Control O, which is open, and then it lets me select which file I want to open. So I'm going to click Test, and there it is. So the alert happens first because the JavaScript happens before the page is even loaded, and then it displays the text in the browser. So it looks like this solution works. Oh, and here's the cool thing. You can have these open side by side for testing purposes. So if I change the text, I say, hi there, this is in an alert. And then I save it, control S, or you can just click file, save file. Then you go over here and refresh it. You can click the re reload button. And now it updated. I think that this is going to be a good solution for everybody, uh, but please let me know if it's not working for you.